aboard our boat Marco. My name is Cindy. This is Philip. Hello. Farron. Hey. Izzy and Jules. Hi. Hi. We bought Marco a year ago um, in French Polynesia and have been sailing her since the end of last year. We had planned on bringing the boat back to the west coast of British Columbia. Um, but we had a change of plans, sadly, and are not able to bring the boat back. But um, we have had a fabulous time sailing her all over French Polynesia. <laughs> and um, really are happy to be passing this wonderful boat on to another family. So um, let's show you around the boat. So Marco is a 1997 Genoa Sun Odyssey 451. And when we were looking for a boat for a trip in the tropics, um, one of the main criteria was a large aft cockpit. And uh, Marco has delivered on that front. We've been spending almost all our time here, dining here, hanging out, having guests over. Um, and the previous owners had installed this extra high bimini, so headroom is not an issue, even if I move forward through the companionway under the Dodger, I have perfectly good clearance, I don't need to duck. Um, so that's been wonderful, and the access straight through and out to the water over the swim grid has been fantastic, as the kids spend most of their time in the water. All right, from this side, one of the things that we did to the boat was put in new clears for the Dodger all, all around. Um, uh, one of the other features is that all lines run aft into the cockpit for um, your convenience. And uh, this is the table, one side folded up. wind vane. We've got the wing for it and the rudder down below. Um, this is the original anchor. It is a 20 kilo anchor that's as a spare back here. It has been replaced by a 30 kilo mantis up front which you'll see later. We've got a barbecue here which has proved quite nice. Over here is the backup uh, outboard for the dinghy which is behind us there. The dinghy has a 15 horse uh, three-year-old engine and this is an older four horse backup. All right so still in the cockpit here uh, we've got a lot of comfy cushions everywhere. The foam has been replaced. Uh, we've got a recent Raymarine auto helm unit here. Um, these cushions are an extra bonus on your longer crossings when you're at the wheel um, or on watch and we've got a lot of storage here as well we've got these two aft lockers this one is taken up by the propane and some spare an extra tank and some spare chain for the backup anchor and to be used with the Jordan series drogue that comes with the boat as well should that ever be required we've got these two main lockers here um, they're both very deep they go all the way through to the to the hull and deep in here and they've been great for all sorts of stuff and uh, then over here we have a very large storage locker that um, again all sorts of things we've got some spare fuel in there right now um, it also provides access to the steering quadrant um, the water heater back here and then underneath in this back corner is the auto helm mechanics. Come on, let's go down below. All right, well welcome down below, Marco. Lots of space as you can see. Um, we when we're down here, we have room for everybody. Nobody's crashing into each other. As you can see, the bench is no longer here. That was uh, a refit done by the previous owners um, to add space and make it more roomy for everyone on board, and we really love that. Um, yeah, here's the galley, super um, versatile and functional. We've got our saltwater pump. We've got our fresh water here. Um, this countertop over the stove just lifts back. 
um, to, to a double gas burner propane stove, fridge over here, um, and in here we have our freezer. Um, so, and it's more storage, it's very deep back here, lots of stuff, tools, whatnot. Um, this, all these cushions and covers have, are new, fairly new, a couple of years old. It happened with the refit. Um, and what else can I show you? Fans everywhere, which have been great. Super bright, open feeling, which we really love about this uh, design. Okay, so let's move forward to the four cabins here. One of the great features of the refit on this boat is uh, now there are two bunks in the forward cabin. So this addition has just been great. Um, lots of room to have a friend or a cousin or sibling sharing cabins, um, even for two adults. There's loads of space. There's been no compromise with the bottom bunk, still lots of room. Um, but now two people can sleep here comfortably or more. Uh, lots of room for storage. They've got this cabinet here and another large one here. Um, these things all would come with the boat. We've got screens for hatches, lots of first aid supplies. We have a Webasto heater that needs to be installed if, you know, you're heading to colder climbs. Um, lots of airflow with two hatches and lots of light, as you can see. Also a great feature is all the electrical has been updated in all the cabins, so we've got the USB charge port as well as uh, 12 volt and all the switches for lights and fans. Um, the cabin beside it is basically the same thing, so here we have the leak cloth set up so that um, any bumpy passages means nobody falls out of their bunk. And then moving on to the main head that we use. It's got the electrical, electrical head. So um, the aft head is the same as this, but it's a hand pump manual. Also in here, we've got the shower, hot water, hot and cold, and um, our water maker. It's a Seawater Pro, and it produces about 30 gallons per hour. So every boat needs one of those. Um, coming back here into the saloon, We've got um, some safety gear to show you. So. All right, safety is a big part of Marco's inventory, and here we have six spin lock deck vests, each one equipped with an ocean signal um, MOB1 personal beacon, should uh, the vest actually be deployed. Um, we have these straps to go to the jack lines, recharge kits for all the vests. Um, each cabin has a fire extinguisher and a smoke detector. Um, we have a gas alarm underneath the stove. We've got a large Type B smoke uh, fire extinguisher close to the engine and the electronics. A fire blanket. Um, and then there's the Ocean Signal EPIRB1 as well as two personal PLB1s should you go on a long um, dinghy mission or something. These are the ones that are in the vest. Here we are at Marco's nav station. In 2019, the AC and DC systems were fully redone and there's a lot of extra room in the panels here for any additions that you might choose. Um, here's our Iridium satellite connection, the Raymarine Axiom chart plotter, which is down here in the cockpit. There's a connection for it as well. So it's just plug and play. You can choose where you want it. Um, we've had it here and we were using a tablet up top just as a repeater and you can download the app and just run it as a remote control for the chart plotter here as well. Our Victron color control to see what the batteries are doing. And then underneath the seat here we've got the Victron MultiPlus 3000 watt inverter and charger, the MPPT for the solar, there's 650 watts of solar panels outside and then underneath the seat here in the saloon there's a 600 amp hour lithium battery bank. All right let's have a look at our engine, a 2010 Yanmar 4JH4 TE turbo diesel 55 horsepower, 2,480 hours right now. Um, well maintained, we've kept up with the maintenance, no issues whatsoever. Um, great access for the maintenance. 
um, as well as from either side in the cabins here, two big panels open up so you can access the engine from every which side. And Farron is going to give us a cold start. Okay, so with Marco being a four cabin model, I'm going to show you the two aft cabins now. Um, they're they're uh, big spacious cabins, the beds sleep about two adults, two average size adults. Uh, the mattresses are fairly new and new mattress covers as well as a custom topper. So very comfortable beds, um, lots of cabinet space, um, fan, porthole hatch, so lots of light and airflow in both cabins. I'll show you our aft head as well, which is our manual one. Um, we don't use it as often as our forward head because uh, the forward is the, our electric push button one, but it's great to have two with the shower as well. Um, back here, Julian is going to show you just how big these cabins are and how, how bright and spacious. Thanks, Jules. <laughs> All right, let's take a walk along Marco's top sides. There's two sets of scuba gear included with the boat. Here we have from the 2019 refit, a solid stainless steel rail in the aft section. Great as added security and as a tie down point. And it continues here with this rail as well. As part of the canvas, there's these two wind catchers that drive air into the two aft cabins to the portholes, making for great airflow. There's one of the two paddle boards that come with the boat. And on the deck here, you can see there's a life raft and you can see a lot, uh, a lot of the hatches. Good airflow through all those. We have a ball boom brake and the line runs back into the cockpit to be adjusted for tension. We have all loved what we refer to as our pirate ladders, traveling through the lagoons here. It's great, and especially in not the best light for spotting the coral heads. And here we have the in-mast further hydronet sail, as well as the hydronet genoa. Um, those are from 2019 as well. Uh, January of this year, we replaced all the standing rigging here we have 200 liters of uh, jerry cans with the custom sunshade and on this side is another 160 liters as well so plenty of fuel for longer voyages spinnaker pole on the mast and then over here we have a detachable bowsprit which just unclips and connects here and here to get past the 30 kilo mantis anchor that we have there. We're right now in a mooring in Bora Bora, so the anchor isn't being used. Over here we have our snubber for when we do use the anchors, and then 70 meters of stainless steel chain marked for 10 meter increments, and beyond that is quite a bit of line as well. In the forward locker here, this is where the asymmetrical Jenica lives, as well as a variety of toys and spare lines and fenders and that kind of thing. And it's quite spacious in there. And that's about it for Marco's top size.